Good morning. Happy Wednesday. I hope you're having a great week so far. Um, please reach out and let me know if there's anything I can do to help. I am here for you. Um, we're going to start with some announcements. Uh, tomorrow at two o'clock will be our live Zoom. Unless the what is the saying? Unless the well breaks and the keep uh, the creek don't rise, I don't think that that's right. We'll forget that. Um, but tomorrow you won't have a five minute video. You will have a um, live Zoom class that will be found in the gray tab area under Zoom class. If you can't make it, please try to come if you can. Um, so we're going to go ahead and uh, get into our five minute little mini lesson here. Um, and we're actually going to be talking about chapter 25, uh, Pathology and Laboratory. Um, please get out your CPTs and turn to page 598. And what we're going to be reading is we're going to be reading our guidelines that are found on this page. And I want to show you guys an example of how my CPT book looks with the panels. This is what I like to do. This is how it speaks to me. This is the first page. And then this is the second page of panels. Uh, again, this is my manual. This is how I want to do it. Remember, your manual is your manual. You can take notes in it, you can highlight, you can tab, you just can't have any loose papers in it. All right, so I'm gonna put this over here so maybe I can see it better. This, the reflective pages, y'all, they just drive me crazy. I don't know if you have trouble seeing them too or if it's just my old eyes, <laughs> but let me share my screen. Okay, so we're going to be on page 598 of your CPT, and what we're going to be going through is organ or disease-oriented panels, and I'm going to read this right here, which is our guidelines for this particular section. So the guidelines say these panels were developed for coding purposes only. You should not be in and should not be interpreted as a clinical as clinical parameters. This te these tests listed with each panel identify the defined components of that panel. These panel components are not intended to limit the performance of other tests. If one performs, te performs tests in addition to those specifically indicated for a particular panel, those tests should be reported separately in addition to the panel code. Do not report two or more panel codes that include any of the same tests performed from the same patient collection. If a group of tests overlaps two or more panels, report the panel that incorporates the greater number of tests to fulfill the code definition and report the remaining tests using individual test codes. All right, so let's take a look at this panel. Try to make it a little bit bigger. Okay, so we're looking at our basic metabolic panel, calcium ionized. So this panel must include the following, the calcium, carbon dioxide, fluoride, creatinine, glucose, potassium, sodium, so this is just a basic metabolic panel. I know that you guys are probably some of your guys have been to the doctor and they've said, okay, we've got to run a basic panel on you. <clears throat> In order to code this panel, you have to have done all of these tests. Now, say that you have all of these tests on the list of what's being done and then one additional. Okay, then you're gonna code that one additional code plus 80047. If calcium is not within this panel and you didn't, they weren't asked to do with, uh, the calcium testing, then you can't use this panel. All of these have to be within this panel to code it. All right, this is our second one. Basic metabolic panel, calcium total. So calcium total, carbon dioxide, chloride, creatinine, glucose, potassium, and sodium. So do you see a difference in these two panels? Let's make it smaller so we can compare the two. 
Well, I would love to make it smaller. There we go. So let's look at calcium here. This is calcium ionized, but this says calcium total. Carbon dioxide is the same, or chloride is the same, cretinine, glucose, potassium, and sodium. So our difference in these two panels, 80047 and 80048, is calcium total and calcium ionized. So when you're reading your medical record, you need to make sure whether it's the ionized ca uh, calcium or the total ca calcium. So I'm not going to go over any more of those panels. I'm just going to cover a couple of them at a time. But here's what I want to tell you. Being able to compare your panels needs to be, you need to be accurate in that. You need to take your time and do what you need to do to organize it in your mind. I hope that you learned something today. I hope you have a wonderful day and see you tomorrow for Zoom. Bye, everybody.